SI Instruments suppliers of high quality force and torque measurement equipment. We supply the wine industry, automotive, packaging, food testing, pharmaceutical, plastic, occupational health and safety, research and development, and many others. At SI Instruments, we offer three hand dexterity tests from Lafayette Instrument. The O'Connor Finger Dexterity Test, Groove Pegboard and Purdue Pegboard Test. O'Connor Finger Dexterity Test. To begin this test, the subject should be seated comfortably at a table measuring approximately 75 centimeters in height. Place the test about 30 centimeters from the table's edge and to the subject's right if he, she is right-handed and vice versa. When ready to begin the test, read out the instructions provided in the manual to the subject. The test is performed by picking up three pins at a time and placing them in the holes as fast as possible, starting in the corner farthest from you, working left to right or right to left depending on what hand you are using. The test ends once all holes are filled. Grooved Pegboard To begin this test, place the pegboard directly in front of the subject so that the board is at the edge of the table. Before beginning the test, the examiner explains the test to the subject using the instructions in the manual provided. To perform this test, the subject must match the groove of the peg with the groove of the board working left to right when using their right hand and working right to left when using their left hand. The subject must only use one hand to place the pegs in the hole. The test end once all holes are filled. Purdue Pegboard Test The Purdue Pegboard consists of two parallel rows of 25 holes each. Pins are located at the extreme right hand and left hand cups at the top of the board. Collars and washers occupy the two middle cups. In the first three subtests, the subject places as many pins as possible in the hole within a 30 second time period. To test the right hand, the subject must insert as many pins as possible in the holes, starting at the top of the right hand row. The left hand test uses the left row. Both hands then are used together to fill both rows top to bottom. In the fourth subtest, the subject uses both hands alternately to construct assemblies, which consist of a pin, a washer, a collar, and another washer. The subject must complete as many assemblies as possible within 60 seconds. The test administrator will compile five separate scores from the complete test procedure, one for each test battery. For further information, please contact us.